gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Today, along with the Universal Church, we celebrate the feast of St. Catherine of Siena, a virgin and doctor of the Church. She died at the age of 33, and she made a remarkable impact in the life of the Church. She even disciplined popes to carry the wisdom and knowledge and the guidance of the Holy Spirit and follow the footsteps of Jesus. And so today let us pray that we need men and women like Catherine of Siena who can save the church, who can speak the truth in guidance of the Holy Spirit. And so we pray, Lord Jesus, he came to call the sick. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you provide wisdom and knowledge to all people so that we might come closer to you. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, plead the seat for all your children. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O oh God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's Passion and her service of your Church, grant through great intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Continue to pray for a healing of this wall, especially for <clears throat> those who are suffering uh, COVID-19, and also those who are suffering due to fatal disease like cancer. We especially lift our hearts in prayer for Sarah Rose and Pat Scott for a healing, and for Joseph Madri, uh, eternal rest in heaven. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From that most all his companions set sail on a ride at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about forty years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. They asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. 
John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favor of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever in heaven. You have confirmed your faithfulness forever by the the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever by the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say to me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior, forever my seen the goodness of the Lord. understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I'm not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled. The one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I'm telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send, receives me, and whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Today, we continue to hear the witness and the newness of life of the apostles, the disciples. Especially today, the um, incidents that happened in and around Cyprus, especially Paul and Barnabas and their companions, and how they continue to grow in virtue and in love, how the Spirit of God was you know, guiding them in a way that they are supposed to. Especially that God is giving them this beautiful attitude of not only being strong, but also not forget that they are human and their power, their energy, their strength comes from the Lord. And so, 
they proclaimed to us even today and they were proclaiming to the people of you know the early Christians that virtue of humility and how to fight against pride how to fight against um, you know selfish natures because it is easy for any human being to go in that direction but Paul and Bernabas and any of the disciples the companions who joined work with in this video in this mission with the apostle never ever boasted that they did it on their own they are always ready and willing to give it to God it is in the name of of Jesus of Nazareth. It is in the name of God the Father that we are able to do it. So they are always focused on the cross of Christ, the victory of Christ, and the resurrection of Christ. And so today, but this is becoming a very uh, difficult issue. Fighting against ego, fighting against you know selfish nature, it is not so common. Because we always want to promote I did it, we did it, that kind of nature is it, it's so, it's so popular. The virtue of humility to acknowledge God the Creator, the source of all life, is, is kind of a, it's a great gift that we all need to imitate and we need to ask so that we might be able to continue to witness to Jesus, our God, our Savior, more than anything else than anybody else. Even though Jesus knew what's going to happen about his trials, his judgment, his cross, and the betrayal, did not know, but he continued to live with them, love, and give an opportunity for them to know, uh, you know, uh, the love of God. And, you know, connecting that to today's saint, St. Catherine of Siena, such a, you know, ordinary woman, you know, at the very early age, you know, she always, you know, whenever she has to take the stairs, she will stay Hail Mary, full of grace, every step, she will stay Hail Mary. And that's how she began to cultivate this habit of prayer, loving God, dedicating herself to Christ. At the age of seven, she offered her virginity to Christ. At the age of seven, look at that maturity, of knowing and loving God. And you know, as she continued to go closer and closer, the Lord revealed her vision. And of course, she became a mystic and she became a contemplative. And at the age of 33, she died, but she made a great impact in the life of the church. She was able to fight against uh, all kinds of the, the uh, you know, evil propaganda against Catholic Church against the church being divided because, you know, one pope in Rome, another pope in France. The church is divided. And so, Catherine Siena has to take a step. Pope Urban leave France to come back to Rome. It's an order from the Lord. He left, he obeyed, he came back to Rome. And so, uh, she was such a powerful, that's why she's a, she's a doctor of the church. Being a Dominican, she had this beautiful gift, and it is not of her own. It is a gift that the Lord provided, and she continued to cooperate. And she wasn't willing to lift herself up and pride or selfish nature. She was able to give herself to God as a son, as a messenger, as an ambassador. We need more people like her, men and women, to step up. Please stand. Loving God, we bless and thank you for this day, for the grace of mercy that you pour out upon us and children. Bless the universal church, Pope Francis, and all people of God, that we may continue to proclaim your love and mercy, we pray for all. Lord, Lord, Lord God, we thank and bless you for the gift of St. Catherine of Siena and her life and her dedication to the universal Catholic Church. Help us, Lord, your people, today, as we love our church and love our priests. Help us, Lord, to continue to be strong in our faith, to fight against all schism and evil. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
What else do we pray this morning? For Connie Fox, who was having surgery today, uh, and she had a speed recovery. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal death and blessing to my father, who will be today, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that are calling to pray for, and for all those who have known to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all military police and uh, first responders, that they may be safe and always return home. This we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Yes, all this look like Star Wars. Amen. Let's stand for the reading of Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you through the divine work of human hands. It will become for us a spiritual thing. Blessed be God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of Saint Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves in Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are playing. <laughs> Saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered into the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring here to the fullness of charity. We gather with Francis, our Pope, Byron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Bless and approve the intentions of all your children gathered here. Especially look kindly upon Sarah Rose, Rats Child, and grant them healing. Remember your servant, Joseph Madrid, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostle, St. Bernadette of Petronas, St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the glory of your Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and officiously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign.
the love of God, the whole hate will take away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for each other. Amen. In the act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Come to me. 
Yeah.